What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel if you're a returning subscriber. If you're new, please hit the subscribe and bell button. That would be greatly appreciated. Today we are going to be talking about the release of the 2021 Ram TRX, dubbed the T-Rex. It's pretty awesome. Uh, you're watching the video today on August 18th. It was released on the 17th and it's really cool because as of right now, today when you're watching this, they're available for order. So we're going to recap some of Ram's footage here while we discuss the TRX. Um, I'll post the video link to Ram's official release video down below if you want to watch it, but it is 26 minutes long. He kind of rambles a bit. I'm going to cut that time in half for you, save some time, and give you some additional information on the TRX. It is the fastest, most powerful production half ton. Uh, they claim, which I have no reason to doubt, um, as well as a 0 to 60 time of 4.5 seconds and a 118 mile per hour top speed. Both of those numbers, best in class. Slightly tuned different uh, power outputs for the TRX compared to like the Hellcat. It still uses the 6.2 liter Hellcat supercharged engine, but it puts out 702 horsepower as opposed to the 707 in the Hellcats, and it uses the same 650 foot-pounds of torque. Ram says they took styling cues from the Rebel and the Power Wagon into consideration when making the TRX. There's a new free-flow grill design with a functional hood scoop that sucks in 50% of the engine intake air through the hood scoop and the rest through the grill. It comes standard with 18 by 9 inch aluminum wheels with optional bead locks. Uh, you want the 18 inch wheels instead of 20s, so you get a little more rubber. It features oversized tow hooks front and rear, dual 5 inch exhaust, which I have thanks to Borla on my truck, <laughs> off-road side steps and factory rock rails, an optional bed mounted spare tire carrier up to a 37, and their ram bar, as well as the bead locks and the hood and body decals. <laughs> Uh, this thing looks so awesome. Obviously, they're you know it's a punch to the throat of the Raptor based off what you saw in the beginning clip there, the T-Rex biting it and throwing it, which as a Mopar enthusiast, I think is awesome since Ford attacked Jeep basically with their new Bronco. As you see here, all T-Rexes come standard with the 12-inch touchscreen, which is pretty awesome, as well as optional leather interior with red T-Rex stitching and accents. Um, here you can see the interior. This is the suede and leather wheel option with the red stitching. It's a flat bottom wheel. Here we have a console mounted shifter. It's kind of Jeep Compass like. I don't really like it that much but I'm going to give it a little pass here and you'll see why. Um, this is why where the rotary dial shifter would normally go you've got your uh, hill descent control, traction, your four-wheel drive modes, your drive modes, and your launch control. Uh, here, a little cheesy, but kind of cool. There's a kind of ID plate on the armrest. I hate when they put VIN number because VIN means vehicle identification number. So you, you're saying number twice, whatever. Blowing smoke up our butts. There's that 12 inch again showing um, it has performance pages just like the Hellcats, you know, the Chargers, the Challengers, the Trackhawks, the Durango, all that stuff. Um, as well as performance pages, it also has off-road pages. So you get all your uh, reaction timers, your quarter mile time, your 0 to 60, 0 to 100s, you got your G-force meters, your yaw rates, as well as instant horsepower and torque readings. You can also get the power folding trailer tow mirrors, trailer brake controller, and as you see here, the rotary dial knob to back a trailer in just like Ford has had for a couple of years now as well as the 360 degree camera. You can get these things in a variety of different interior options kind of based on the Rebel and the Laramie so you can get them pretty loaded but the TRX's feature some nice bolstering. Here you'll see Ram's first ever um, full color they say heads up display which is really really cool to see in a truck like this. The TRX also features a backup camera in the rear view mirror. Ram says they moved the front axle 20 millimeters further forward to accommodate a 35 inch tall tire from the factory with the suspension travel that this truck has. And speaking of tires, Ram says that the TRX uses a Goodyear Wrangler Territory tire which is designed exclusively for the TRX. The TRX has a payload of 1,310 pounds with 8,100 pounds worth of towing, which is lower than your typical Ram 1500, but the Ford Raptor's payload and towing is lower than the normal F-150 as well. It's just a side effect of having the softer suspension for off-roading. On the bed of this silver truck here, you see the Ram bar. And this truck is also outfitted with the optional uh, side steps and the spare tire carrier, which you'll see in a minute. 
you can see the front clearance lights or center ID lights are in the hood scoop and then there's a marker light on each fender flare extension on the front bumper which is required on vehicles over 80 inches wide you can see on the rear bumper above the rear bumper there under the tailgate there's three in the rear as well um, just like the raptor both of them are very wide um, so you need those extra lights to kind of identify that <laughs> your headlights and taillights are far apart and they add those lights in the middle to say hey i'm one vehicle i'm not two motorcycles at nighttime the TRX comes with a two and a half inch Bilstein lift with performance shocks, nitro charged remote reservoirs, 23.6 inch rear coil springs, the largest ever with stainless braided lines, high strength rock shield, three vibration sensors, and three zone jounce cutout. Um, I assume that's kind of like the tri mode dampening, like the uh, Hellcats and everything has, but for off road. The TRX boasts an impressive 11.85 inches of ground clearance with 13 inches of front suspension travel and 14 inches of rear suspension travel. It can ford through 32 inches of water and has an RTI which is a ramp travel index of 605 which is pretty good for a pickup truck. Um, that's typically something closer to what you'd see on an off-road vehicle such as a Jeep. Similar to the Ford Raptor, the Ram TRX has a wider body and track than the typical version. It has an 8 inch wider body than a normal Ram 1500 and the track width is 6 inches wider than normal which is how wide the axle is. Going over the engine again it is the 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi found in <laughs> everything Hellcat powered, cast iron block, forged crank, forged uh, rods, forged pistons, carbon coated piston pins, dual mass crankshaft apner. Again, kind of just a bunch of smoke up our butts to give us fancy terms and numbers to make it feel more special. Um, they could be doing it just for the Ram truck buyers that aren't necessarily um, in cahoots with SRT stuff, such as the Charger and Challenger Hellcats as stated before. Again, this is all stock stuff that comes on Hellcat engines, the 92 millimeter throttle body, the IHI 2.4 liter twin screw supercharger with 11 pounds of boost max, stock anyways. And based on one of the first clips from the video here and this one right here. It's a little cheesy, but also this one's pretty cool. You can kind of see a breakdown. It doesn't show obviously every part of the truck, but they're kind of making it seem like a transformer, which I guess is like the cheesy part. But again, it's pretty cool. Here shows your different options for your 4x4 performance control system. The different changes here are gonna take effect in your throttle response, your transmission shift points, your paddle shifters, which is the first in a Ram, by the way. It also controls your suspension dampening and your electronic power steering. So all of these things are going to be fine-tuned and tweaked to the different drive modes. There's six different drive modes in addition to the custom and auto drive modes. They are Baja, Rock, Mud and Sand, Snow, Tow, and Sport. Ram says they're also going to release a special limited edition TRX called the Launch Edition with an exclusive color to the Launch Edition called Anvil Gray. As you'll see here, it also comes with a different center console, red TRX plate, and the red interior uh, accenting. Here's another peek at that Anvil Gray color. Uh, the Launch Edition will also feature a standard premium option package, which includes the carbon fiber trim, the heads-up display, the beadlock wheels, and the body and bed slash hood graphics. Like I said earlier, on top of this list of awesome things, this truck is available to order right now as you're watching this, which is pretty unheard of when there's a vehicle release. You typically can't order it right away, you know. Even though it's going to be the first production year, if I had the money, I'd probably pull the trigger on one of these bad boys. Given the cost of the Hellcat Durango and the Jeep Trackhawk, which is Hellcat powered, and even compared to a Charger or Challenger Hellcat, the starting price on these is not horrible. I believe the Grand Cherokee Trackhawk starts at like 87000 and the the Durango Hellcat is going to start in the mid 80s as well. Even the Charger uh, Hellcat widebody starts at around 70,000. So considering you're getting a four-door truck that's this capable with this kind of power is pretty impressive for that price point. This truck starts at 70,000, just over 70,000. Now that being said, it gets expensive real quick. There's one package that adds like $8,000 just in itself. Uh, this is a truck here that I built. If I was to actually buy this truck, this is probably how I would build it just 
based off the options available right now. I did not build it to the hilt. Um, there's way more options you could add. As you can see, I'm still just in between 81 and 82,000 with almost a $1,300 a month payment. Um, I really, really would consider getting one of these. If you watched my previous video, I was kind of going up in, in the air between a Charger widebody scat pack and a Charger widebody Hellcat. Um, the TRX with a Hellcat engine is like the one vehicle I would take over a Charger when the lease on my truck is up. Um, but the problem is, is that you can lease a Charger Hellcat for like less than half of the financing payment. Now, the finance payment on this TRX here that I built is almost $1,300. Uh, there's no way I'd be able to do that without paycheck to paycheck, just kind of going bankrupt, um, unless they have a lease option that's a lower price, which I really hope they do, because that would be awesome to have. Now, to sum up this video, I'm just going to cover my very few dislikes, which is going to be the shifter. I wish they would have done like a pistol grip or something like the Raptor. And the only other dislike, even though it's really not that bad of a price point, is I feel like they are about five to ten thousand dollars high on the cost of this truck, considering you can get a Raptor, which is their direct competition for the TRX for about you know fifty five thousand dollars to start and the trx starts at 70. now granted in my opinion you're getting more truck obviously you're getting more power for sure but you know a lot of people if they're looking to steal customers from ford you know that's a fifteen thousand dollar price difference so i feel like the people that go after the trx are going to be people that want a v8 <laughs> and not an eco boost so hopefully this video was informative guys if you liked it make sure you hit that like button subscribe for more videos like this make sure to comment down below check me out on facebook at tony the truck guy thanks for watching have a great day